Here's a little taste of what I'm gonna teach you. I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go Howdy, I'm Rob. I want to teach you how to finger pick and sing Leaving on a Jet Plane by John Denver. This is like the perfect song to learn how to Travis pick on. Travis picking is the style of finger picking that John Denver uses in this song. It's like the most common way to finger pick in country and blues and rock songs. And I teach this style in depth in my course that's coming out in April of 2022. It's called Travis Pick Like a Pro. And this is the first song I teach in the course. So if you like this lesson and you really want to go in depth into the song, be sure to become a member of Heartwood Guitar. Um, that's how you get access to the course. So let's start with the chords. There are four chords in the song and I take a few liberties with the song to make it even more beginner friendly. I think it sounds really cool too. Um, the first chord is just a standard G chord, but it may not be a standard fingering for you. There are like a million ways to fret an open G chord. Um, but the one that I strongly recommend for this song uses your wimpiest fingers. So bear with me. I know this may seem backwards, but um, you'll see why uh, I recommend this fingering in a second. It's because of the second chord that's coming, coming up here. But with this fingering, you've got your third finger on the sixth string third fret and your pinky on the first string third fret. So wake those puppies up and uh, grab that chord. You, can, uh, you should damp the fifth string with the underside of your third finger. You shouldn't be picking it, um, but in case you accidentally hit that string, it should be damped. So that's your G chord. And then check this out. Instead of a just a standard C chord like what John Denver plays, I'm going to have you play a C with a G in the bass, which is a lovely chord and also facilitates chord transitions a little bit, makes things a little smoother when you're finger picking. And so to do that, you just leave your fingers where they are here and you put your first finger on the second string first fret and then your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. So this chord sounds like this. By the way, if your pinky's getting tired or just doesn't cooperate, you don't technically pick the first string in my arrangement of the song. So you don't have to grab that first string. It's just, you know, if it's not too much of a bother, it is kind of nice to have a safety net so that if you do hit that note, you hit a nice pleasant G note up there. Don't feel obliged to keep your pinky parked there if it's bugging you. Okay, and then the third chord is just a standard C chord. The C chord, you damp or avoid the sixth string. We're gonna try to not pick it with our picking pattern. Um, and then the last chord is a variation on a D chord. It's a D add four. And all it is is a C chord scooted up two frets. Now with this chord, you really don't want to hit the open first string. And so with our picking pattern, we're not going to be picking the first string, but just in case you like wanted to try strumming the chord or something, you want to try to avoid that first string. Um, and so yeah, same as a C chord, just scoot it up two frets. You'll see in the chord diagram that there's a number three next to what looks like the first fret of the chord diagram. It's because it's not the first fret. It's the third fret. So that three means third fret or third position. It's, uh, same thing. So that's our D add four. Okay, now let's look at the picking pattern for the song. Why don't we just grab a G chord uh, for the purposes of demonstration here. And I want you to start by planting your hand. Planting means like sticking your fingers on the strings that you're about to play. And it's a good habit to do whenever you're gonna start a finger style song to kind of cue your hand into like where it is in relation to the strings. It helps your proprioception. Um, makes it more likely that you'll hit the right strings when you start your song. So rest your thumb on the sixth string and take your pointer finger of your picking hand and 
slot it in between the third string and the second string. So basically you're queued up to pick that third string. And then your middle finger, you should be slotting between your second string and your first string. So it's queued up to pick the second string. So these are the strings that your thumb and fingers are kind of assigned to for this picking pattern. Your thumb, since we're Travis picking, is going to be jumping back and forth between two strings. Thumb can also jump back and forth between three different strings in Travis picking. But for this song, it's just simple alternating bass, not triple alternating bass. So it's going to be just jumping back and forth between six and four in the picking pattern I'm about to show you, but uh, you start on the sixth string. So here's the picking diagram. And um, if this makes absolutely no sense to you, don't sweat it. I'm going to talk you through this. But uh, just briefly, in the left column, you'll see the string numbers. So if you forget which line corresponds to which string, you can just look over there. And then along the bottom shows the count, the, a measure of 4-4. Four, four. And on the right, you can see which strings your picking fingers are assigned to. So you can see T stands for thumb. It's assigned to the sixth and fourth strings. And your first and second fingers, your pointer and middle fingers, are assigned to the third and second strings, respectively. So that's how you read these picking diagrams. And this picking pattern goes like this. Six, two, four, three. And the way you do that is you start by picking the sixth string with your thumb, and then the second string with your middle finger, then the fourth string also with your thumb, and the third string with your pointer finger. So it's six, two, four, three. Thumb, middle, thumb, index. And this is one of the hallmarks of Travis picking. If you've never Travis picked before, this thumb hopping back and forth between two strings is what Travis picking is all about. That's the picking pattern you'll use for the G and the C with G chords because those are the two chords in the song that have what's called a root note, or I should say a low bass note on the sixth string. The other two chords in the song have a bass note on the fifth string. And so we're gonna to have to change our picking pattern when we get to those chords. So let's look at that new picking pattern. It's basically the same thing, except instead of six, two, four, three, we're gonna start on the fifth string. It's gonna be five, two, four, three. So why don't you grab a C chord to practice this pattern and now you're gonna plant your hand again, but you're gonna uh, plant your thumb on the fifth string, rest it on the fifth string. Your pointer and middle fingers are going to be assigned to the same strings as before. So that pointer fingers on the third string, middle fingers on the second string. And then you're gonna go five, two, four, three. So thumb, middle, thumb, index. So now that thumb is hopping back and forth between fifth string and fourth string. So that's the picking pattern we use for the C and the D add four chords. Okay, now let me show you how the song's put together. So this song basically just has one chord progression in it. And you can see that chord progression like at the start of the first verse here. We start with a measure of G, and so in my chord chart, um, if you just see a chord written with no like number in parentheses after it, you can assume that it's, written, it's uh, played for just one measure. And one measure is this much playing. It's like one and two and three and four and. So going back to the beginning of the verse here, uh, starting with that first G, you're gonna go one and two and three and four and, and then switch to the C with G in the bass. One and two and three and four and. Next line, back to G. One and two and three and four and. Back to C with G in the bass. And now on the third line, start with the G. 
for a full measure, and then go to a regular C for a full measure, and then slide up to that D add four and play that for two measures, which is gonna be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now would be a good time to pause the video and practice these two picking patterns and maybe making some chord changes while playing these picking patterns. And then when you're ready, try playing along with me here. I'm gonna play the first verse of the song at a slow tempo and see if you can play along. Remember to plant before you play, thumb on the sixth string, pointer finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that basically shows you how to play the whole song. The intro that I've come up with for the song starts with just, uh, it's a four measure intro going from G to C with G in the bass, G, with C with G in the bass again. It just kind of gives you a little warm up before you start singing the song. So it's just kind of like the first two lines of a verse. And then chorus progression, same as the verse progression. It's just at the end of the chorus, you're gonna play that D add four for four measures instead of two. And in the outro chorus, there are a few chords at the end that also are played longer than the rest of the song, but just some minor variations on this one progression that I've taught you. Uh, before I finish, I wanna uh, give you a little help singing the song. Um, I love singing the song. I sing it for my kids when they're going to bed. It's funny, I asked my kids the other day what they thought the song was about. Actually, they asked me, I told them, and they disagreed with me. They did not think that this was someone who was going to return to their love. They thought the person was leaving for good. I'm like, well, what about the wedding ring line? And they're like, no, that guy's taken off. So I don't know what that says about my seven and nine year olds. But anyway, whether you think that this is a tragic breakup song or just a song about, you know, leaving for a trip, um, I hope you enjoy singing it too, and it does pose a challenge for men because uh, John Denver, you know, has kind of a high tenor voice, and that can be kind of hard for untrained singers or just, you know, men with lower voices um, to be able to sing, and so I want to help you with that. Um, so if, if this key of G is tough for you, or also women, if you want to sing up even higher than John Denver, or young people, if you have a, a high voice, you want to sing up higher, I recommend you use a capo. Um, let's, uh, the capo is straightforward, I think, for, uh, women or other people with high voices. Your starter note is going to be the open third string. Oh, my bags are packed. It's also the note you sing when you sing the word packed. Oh, my bags are packed. And so that same string can work as a guide if you capo up the neck. Let's say you want to sing it way up here in the key of B. Oh, my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I wouldn't sing it up there because it'd be way too high for me in the chorus. But um, women might like it up there. And then men with lower voices who are just just want to sing it lower like when i sing for my kids sometimes i want to sing kind of low in my range to lull them to sleep 
you know, maybe capo six or something would be good. And here what we're doing, even though we're capoing up and it seems like, you know, shouldn't I be singing higher if I'm capoing up? Actually, you're singing like one octave lower than where the women would sing up here. And so instead of this open third string as your starter note, now your starter note is one octave lower. It's gonna be found on the sixth string third fret. So the take home message here is if you want to sing the song lower, slap on a capo and then grab a G chord and play that sixth string. That's going to be your starter note. Oh, it's kind of low for me. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. See how that works? So hopefully that brings the key of the song uh, in line with whatever kind of voice you have. So fun teaching this lesson to you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And if you'd like to dive deeper into Travis Picking, come check out my course, Travis Pick Like a Pro, due to be released in April of 2022. You can learn more about becoming a member of Heartwood Guitar and getting access to this course plus tons more by clicking the link right below here. And hope to see you on the flip side. Take care.